football contest in this city. Get ready for the Central Arkansas Bears. Scouts per game. By 358, five extra base hits on the year. Showing Blunt and taking another one just a hair outside. Nelson is at first, Mary Kay Brown is second, Maddie Young the short seed. They can cover a lot of turf out there. Swing and a miss. Beaver gets Johnson. Beaver going. And Hedgecock waiting if anybody reaches. Casey Hoffman. How particularly Central Arkansas players handle the environment. Kayla Beaver's handling it just <laughs> fine. Back the Razorbacks this season. Not as many long balls as a year ago. One, two. It will require a throw down. That was a pure swing and miss despite Willingham dropping the ball. Earned run average, Dorian, the Razorbacks turning to a lefty today. Almost like it's hidden a little bit more, and so it takes longer to identify the pitch. Outside corner, third base bleachers. There is nowhere to find. 0-2. Gets a good piece of it to shallow right field, charging in and making the catches. Casey. Two pitches. Young knows that Heron isn't going to waste pitches. At two. Opposite field, base hit, a two-out single for the Bears. Here to clean up for this big matchup. Brown had a home run in the series finale against... Coming with a one-two. Right back up the shoot, a base hit. Young was running. She'll slide into third. Complaint coming from Central Arkansas. To lead off the bottom of the second inning for UCA. It was basically the equivalent of a runner getting picked off. But that's been a problem that's plagued Central. Generate one of those long fly balls. Inside corner, ringer up, four, 14 against Omaha. A good mid-major program. How Kayla Beaver would handle this type of atmosphere. Grounder to second. Brown charges in, has to hurry. The freshman has made her phase whatsoever. She makes contact as she does right there. Bloops it into right field. First Razorback run. Just in a place where Bear couldn't come in and Brown couldn't get out to it. That much harder to pick up. Grounder to second. Brown stretches out for it, makes the throw. And it seemed like a lot of people were surprised about the fact that six runs, two. You're doing something really right. Well, you're right. Robin Heron, you mentioned she's over, and now you got to try to do it again. But how about this? MK Brown draws the walk this time. There's the walk train. Uh, you'll see some make it to the tournament. They're going to have fly ball to center field. Reagan Johnson calls everybody else off and has it played, despite it now being the latter portions of the season. Central Arkansas really hammered home. Now after the strikeout to Colleen Bear, two down. Arkansas had both ends of the spectrum against the Bulldogs on angle kiss that she still has confidence in her. 2-2, upstairs, strikeout to end the home away anywhere they go. Their form again in 2023. Gamble shows you what she can do. She puts a charge in it toward right oh! field, flipping over. On a defensive web gym by Colleen Bear. That information back. Got one over the center of the plate. Shallow left center field, long run, but maybe the fastest thing is Jordan Johnson. She struck out her freshman who have really stepped up for Arkansas this season. In season, she said it used to be. Grounder deep at short, Maddie Young, practically from. Said that it used to be they had to get players that had slipped through the face. Started and stopped as that one's blooped center field. Wildeman dive for Central Arkansas off of Robin Heron. Curve ball looking instead of pausing for dramatic effect. <laughs> I really did look down on the notes, even though it was pointless. I'm not sure why. To third, Gamel. Cannon. Harris was moving away from, didn't get a whole lot on it. Typically many situations against many opponents. Bears would have a runner at third right now with two outs. Kylie Griffin at the play. Picked it up, starting with the Wu Pig Classic early in the uh, month. Do that because you can't locate it right now. Payoff. That one was high and hittable, and Griffin threw the bat down. She doesn't. Streak hitting over 400 at a couple of home runs again. 1-1 one, one on the way. The one hole. The 
Beaver's going to get her for the second. Fraction of a second to make the decision to swing or to hold. But Heron has been a bit effective throwing strikes. This strike, though, is hammered off the center field fence, but it got out fence at Ferris Field is a bit unusual. It hit the top of the... She does, and Hoffman grounds it to second. Mary Kate Brown's only play is to first. Second out of... Hedgecock to advance to second. Brown's only play was to... First time Razorbacks have had a runner in scoring position. Beaver knocks this ball down, but will not have a play. Hedgecock says that she's not going to be able to get Cammons in at first. Hedgecock's already at third. And Jenna Wildeman would have had to come up throwing. I I'm thinking you're in person. They they've asked Beaver to throw a few warm-up pitches here just to make sure. Strike. I was thinking first pitch, green light, swing, trograms. This game, the perfect example. The one, two. Right field. Colleen Bear waits on it and has... And skipping up and making the catch is Reagan Kramer. Kramer makes it look so effortless out in left field. You never belong in some prolific players for Arkansas to get her. You'll start the next year for sure. 2-2. Two -two. Heron, though, got her to chase a couple of pitches up and away. Coming up in the bullpen, but it is indeed Beaver back on the bump. And it's with runners on the corners for the Razorbacks as a pitch runs inside and hits Gamble. She'll to do multiple different things. Bunts popped up over the third baseman, hits the bag. That means it's a fair ball. Boy, this would have been an eventful strike. Instead, off the... That time gloved in the air by Young. The throwback to second off the runner. Despite five hits. No runs on just... 2-1. Two. Two, to short. Young... Tags the runner. Everywhere, <laughs> trying to sort that one out. But you know, uh, credit to you. Again, Central Arkansas being a little bit more patient. Just wow. below the knees. That's a tough take on 3 2. Really tough miss by Robin Heron. To her catcher, would it? Wouldn't you know they're twins? Central Arkansas being a little bit more patient. Just wow. below the knees. That's a tough take on 3-2, Colleen. And a pitching change on the way for the Razor. Hannah in the circle. First pitch swinging. Bounces off the glove of Gamble at third. And Engelkiss will... It's like clearly feeling like this is their inning. Look for the bear. Over seven and two-thirds. The bunt dies in the turf. And everybody's safe. The ability to attack the bottom of the zone is really coming into picture, especially you have to trust. But she gets the K there. Best eyes on this Central Arkansas team. She's got a smaller strike zone. I feel like fans of both teams know it. Gamble goes home. Ball is mishandled. Gets away. One run scores. And here comes a second base. Disaster for Arkansas. Hannah Cammons in. Two unearned runs. This one gets through to short. Throw across is in time. The runners at second and third stay put. And there's now, here's a Sun player of the week, Maddie Young. She does not strike out just eight through 100. Payoff. Bouncer to short. All they need is to throw it first. It's true, but Central Arkansas takes advantage. Batting 310. Six home runs, plus innings, two hits, one run. It will not be earned. Two walks and four on the screw. And with that strikeout looking, Caleb three strikeouts. You just don't see that. And that speaks to the dominance of Caleb. Beaver's been attacking 0-2 all evening. Goes right after, strikes her out. The intensity from the people that are voting could look at the SEC and go, yeah, well, they're playing tougher comp. Beaver strikes out the side for the second time today. Snuck up just about a half inch inside the box that allowed her to get. 2-2 two -two runs way in and hits the batter. And that will load the bases for Sin. Pick your pitch. Coach Lucas has been telling the Central Arkansas hitters to watch the grown mind all you need. Well, this chopper goes to short again. Rio's throw gets away. Run scores. Two runs cross. She makes a habit of that. That's her 15th steal of the set. That is indeed how it scored. To third, Gamble. We know she's got the throw to get even the speedy Tremere. Beaver has gone after these Arkansas hitters. She is mixed well. Beaver coming back with that big breaking curveball. You see, timely hitting. 
Line to second, dug out by Mary. Christina Foreman, the batter now, over team needing some base runners to try to get a comeback started. Jam on the infield. Nelson had this up. We're going to be talking about Gonzaga references. <laughs> and I it thought of Into play to second base. Speak the Arkansas Razorbacks with a second zone. Getting Arkansas to swing and miss using that screwball to free. 